In March 2023, the African continent held a staggering 2.4 trillion US dollars in investable wealth, boasting 54 countries, 40% of the world's gold reserve, and significant reserves of chromium, platinum, cobalt, and diamonds. However, the economic impact varies across nations. In this video, we will explore the 10 richest African countries ranked by GDP and delve into their contributions to the continent's economic landscape. Ghana's economy has a wide and wealthy resource base, including the manufacture and exportation of digital technology goods, the construction and exportation of automobiles and ships, and the exportation of various and rich resources such as hydrocarbons and industrial minerals. Ghana is Africa's largest gold producer, having surpassed South Africa in 2019, and the world's second largest cocoa producer, trailing only Ivory Coast. It also has a high concentration of diamonds, manganese or manganese ore bauxite and oil. Ghana has vast natural gas reserves which are used by many foreign multinational companies operating in Ghana. Ghana's GDP is about 72.8 billion US dollars with a population estimated at 33.4 million people as of mid-2023. In Tanzania, agriculture, tourism, and natural resources contribute to the nation's economy. Tanzania's growth is heavily reliant on natural resources, with a GDP of about $75 billion. The country employs biomass to meet the majority of its population's energy demands. Agriculture and fishing account for over 30% of its GDP, and wildlife-based tourism accounts for more than 13% the country's GDP. Water resources, land, and forests are all important to Tanzania's economy, but they are under threat from competing needs, over-exploitation, and climate change, among other things. The great majority of the country's resource export revenue comes from gold. It also exports a significant number of gemstones, including diamonds and tanzanite. Tanzania's population is about 65.4 million people in 2023. Angola is a low-income country in Southern Africa with a GDP of about $106.7 billion and a population of 35.8 million people by the end of 2022. It is Sub-Saharan Africa's sixth largest economy. Angola's economy is dominated by the oil industry. Angola produces and exports more petroleum than any other country in Sub-Saharan Africa, first surpassing Nigeria in the 2000s and then again in 2022. The fusion of Portuguese and African culture has transformed urban Angola, particularly the Luanda region, into a Latin American rather than an African country. Angola has vast mineral and petroleum reserves and its economy is among the fastest growing in the world, but much of its oil wealth lies in its separate Cabinda province, where a decades-long separatist conflict simmers. Kenya is a regional economic center with a diversified economy, including the service sector, agriculture, and tourism. Over the last decade, the government of Kenya has implemented important political and economic reforms that have contributed to sustained economic growth, social developments, and political stability gains. Kenya's economy is market-based with a few state-owned firms. Kenya has an emerging market and is a middle-income country. In Kenya, agriculture, forestry, fishing, mining, mining, manufacturing, energy, tourism, and financial services are among the major businesses. Kenya was the third largest economy in sub-Saharan Africa as of 2020, behind Nigeria and South Africa. Kenya has no significant mineral endowment as horticultural items and tea are Kenya's most important exports. Kenya's GDP is estimated at $113.4 billion with a population of about 54 million people. Ethiopia is experiencing rapid economic growth with sectors including agriculture, manufacturing, infrastructure, and aviation. Currently, Ethiopian Airlines is arguably the largest in Africa and is known for its extensive network. It is one of the few airlines to operate the Boeing 787 Dreamliner, which offers passengers a more comfortable and eco-friendly flying experience. The country's GDP is estimated at around $126.8 billion. US dollars. Ethiopia has an abundance of natural resources 
resources including land, minerals and natural gas. In this region of Africa, gold, copper, potash, platinum and natural gas are found beneath the earth's surface and mining reportedly contributed $500 million to the country's economy in 2012. In 2022, Ethiopia's population was estimated at around 123.3 million people, making the country the second most populous nation in Africa after Nigeria and one of the fastest growing economies in the region. Morocco is the world's third largest producer of phosphates after the United States and China. Agriculture, phosphate minerals and tourism are the mainstays of the Moroccan economy. Fish and seafood sales are also prominent. Industry and mining account for almost one third of the annual GDP. The Moroccan economy, like that of many former African colonies, is primarily reliant on raw resource exports. Modern sectors, particularly tourism and telecommunications, are also becoming increasingly important to the economy. The mining sector is one of the pillars of Morocco's economy. It generated a sum of $2.7 billion in 2005 from the sale of several minerals, metals and most importantly, phosphates, silver and lead. Morocco's GDP is about $134.2 billion with an estimated population of 37 0.4 million people. Algeria has significant oil and natural gas reserves, which contributes significantly to its economy. Algeria's economy is dominated by its export trade in petroleum and natural gas commodities that, despite fluctuations in world prices, contributes roughly one third of the country's gross domestic products. Annually. Until 1962, the economy was based largely on agriculture and supplemented France's economy. Since then, hydrocarbon extraction and production have been the most important activity, facilitating rapid industrialization. Four pipelines deliver petroleum from Algeria's oil field to the Mediterranean ports, where it is shipped worldwide. Three submarine pipelines carry natural gas to Europe across the Mediterranean. The Trans Mediterranean Natural Gas Pipeline, which runs from Tunisia to Sicily, and then to Naples, Italy, was completed in 1981, significantly increasing Algerian natural gas sales to Europe. Algeria is rich in minerals such as iron, lead, zinc, copper, calamine, antimony, and mercury, with a GDP of over $191.9 billion and a population of about 44.9 million people. South Africa's land is rich in luxurious resources such as diamonds and gold. In addition, the country has a reserve of iron ore, platinum, manganese, chromium, copper, uranium, silver, beryllium, and titanium. South Africa's economy is the continent's second largest as well as the most industrialized, technologically advanced and diversified. Although the natural resource extraction industry remains one of the largest in the country, with an annual contribution to the GDP of $13.5 billion, the economy of South Africa has diversified since the end of apartheid, particularly towards services. In 2019, the country was the world's largest producer of platinum, the world's largest producer of chromium, the world's largest producer of manganese, the world's second largest producer of titanium, the world's 11th largest producer of gold, the world's third largest producer of vanadium the world's sixth largest producer of iron ore, the world's 11th largest producer of coal parts, and the world's 15th largest producer of phosphate. In 2018, it was the world's 12th largest producer of uranium. South Africa's GDP is estimated at $405.8 billion, with an estimated population of 59.9 million people. Egypt's economy was largely centralized between 1954 and 1970, with President Kamal Abdel Nasser focusing on import substitution. Tourism is one of the most important sources of cash for Egypt's economy. In 2010, the sector employed roughly 12% of Egypt's workforce, served approximately 14.7 million visitors, and generated nearly $12.5 billion in income, contributing more than 11% of GDP and 14.4% of foreign currency revenues. However, since President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi assumed office in 2014, Egypt's economy has followed the 2030 vision. The policy aims to diversify Egypt's economy, which is now the largest in Africa by nominal GDP and ranked at 8th in the world. Egypt's main exports are natural gas and non-petroleum products such as ready-made clothing, cotton textiles, medical and petrochemical products, citrus fruits, 
rice and dried onions, as well as cement, steel and ceramics, which have lately increased in popularity. Egypt's GDP is estimated at 476.7 billion US dollars, with an estimated population of 110.9 million people. And now the grand finale, the powerhouse of them all, Nigeria. Imagine a country with a mix of renewable and non-renewable resources and an economy that's like a bustling marketplace of ideas. Nigeria's economy is a middle-income diversified economy with rising manufacturing, finance, service, communications, technology, and entertainment industries. In terms of nominal GDP, it is the 39th biggest economy in the world, the largest in Africa, and the 27th largest in terms of purchasing power parity. The agricultural industry, which is mostly subsistence, has not kept up with the country's rapid population expansion, though it currently imports some of its food items. Nigeria was formerly a major net exporter of food. Nigeria's enormous oil reserves have a significant influence on the country's economy, as seen by the fact that just 0.3% of its GDP is derived from mining. Because of its undeveloped mining sector, Nigeria must import commodities like iron ore and salt that it could generates domestically. Nigeria exports four types of crude oil, Bonilite oil, Focado's crude oil, Kwa Ibo crude oil, and Brass River crude oil. The United States remains Nigeria's major consumer of crude oil, accounting for 40% of its total exports. Nigeria's GDP is estimated at $477.3 billion and with an estimated population of 218.5 million people. These 10 nations are the heartbeat of Africa's economic journey, each contributing a unique bit to the continent's promising future. What are your thoughts on their economic strides? Drop those comments, hit the like button if you have enjoyed the journey and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more mind-blowing stories from around Africa. Thank you.